Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Antic Cooler H20920. This is a CPU liquid cooling system that Antic has just came out with. It's their next generation version from the previous. Obviously, the closed loop system isn't necessarily new. This style has been around, but it does come with support for the latest LGA 2011 socket CPUs, as well as the older generation. So you're covered there for any type of CPU, whether it's an Intel or AMD. It comes with everything that you need. Now, this has two fans, two 120 millimeter fans, nice size radiator, Customizable LED on the uh, pump, which is nice. Here are the fan speeds, as you can see, the length of the tubes, the dimensions of the radiator. You want to know this information so that you can fit it in your case, okay? Now, looking at the box, it says that compared to previous generations, we're going to save. Temperatures has got to go down. Okay, well, let's see. We'll know in a moment. But taking a look at what comes in the box, you got the manual. You got the utility, which allows you to control the actual CPU cooler from within Windows. So you can control the uh, fan speeds, the pump speed, all of that, and monitor it. So um, all of that is outlined in here. Depending on the type of CPU, it has the instructions on what to do. And the hardware is complete, right, for AMD and for Intel. So everything is in there, good to go. Today we're going to be installing this on an AMD system. However, it's basically the same to install on an Intel system, very, very similar. Here are the fans, nothing out of the ordinary. Two fans, as you can see here, they are fairly quiet. Then again, by default, when you install this, it runs on custom mode, which is actually very silent. I like it. And it has two more modes. We'll look at that in a second. Now, I mentioned this was a closed loop system, obviously. So you've got this anti-corrosive liquid that's already in there. You don't have to change any liquid. You don't have to worry about it leaking or anything. It's a closed system. The um, liquid goes through one uh, of the tubes, comes out through the other and uh, goes through the pump. Okay, there's the radiator. Okay, good size radiator so we can get lots of cooling. And of course, you want the air to be flowing out. Make sure you got the fans pointing the right way, okay, when you install it. Now, looking at the uh, pump itself with the copper base, you can see it comes with thermal grease applied already, so you're good to go there as well. And um, there's a look at the um, connectors for the pump, okay, and the uh, fan header. So you got to Read the instructions, connecting that to your CPU fan header and your system fan headers appropriately, but uh, you don't have to purchase anything extra. It's all there and ready. Now, there's a look again at the closed loop, okay? So the tube's going around, in, and around again, okay? Now, you will have to install the fans, and that's the first thing that I would do when I install this is attach that radiator, because that is the heaviest part, to the back of the case, okay? You can install it to the top of the case also, but uh, I usually install it on the back, okay, on the rear of the case. So here it is. I attached it to the fan that came with the case already. You can use your existing fan or the ones that came with it. doesn't matter. Once you have that attached, the next thing would be uh, to add the other fan that it came with, obviously, so you can have that push-pull effect of air flowing through and out of the case. Make sure that your cover doesn't touch it, obviously. So again, look at the dimensions that I mentioned at the beginning, the specs, so that you know that it will fit in your case. There it is installed with the second fan now, okay, as you can see. After that step, you want to read, okay, what brackets, what screws, what do I need to do with the back plate that comes behind the motherboard? You need to obviously take things out, you need to put the ones that it comes with, and then you need to attach the screws um, the clips and everything accordingly, okay? Once you've done that, and I've already gone ahead and added those clips to the bracket, whoops, and um, attached the um, pump to it, you're good to go. There it is. There's that closed loose system. You can see there the cooler brand. You can see the nice Antec LED, which, like I mentioned, you can change the colors of that. And here it is in Windows 7. Obviously, it's running overclocked, 100% full load. There's the motherboard in memory that I'm running. And um, it's running about 42 degrees Celsius right now. You can change it to Fahrenheit, the readings, obviously. Uh, you can change um, the color of the LED. You can change the fan speed. The, you can control all of that through the utility that Antec gave you on the CD. Okay, and there's the, uh, the utility, like I mentioned. I have it running on custom, which runs it um, basically very, very quiet. Uh, or you can have it set to silent mode, which is their default uh, quiet mode, or extreme. Extreme, obviously, will turn the fans on at full blast. They'll uh, ramp up all the way up to uh, 1600 RPM or more, as you can see. 
Um, it is quite loud if you run it on extreme. However, temperatures will drop, uh, in this case, at least five degrees Celsius, which is really, really good. Now, um, other than that, I mean, if you were to customize uh, the settings in the uh, utility that Antec gave you, it's pretty straightforward. They didn't make it too complicated. They have a graph that you can track the performance on how the fan is doing and the liquid temperature. Uh, and also you can set the uh, limits and um, notifications. So if you see that the temperatures are going too high, then you can have pop-ups come up and tell you about these things. So you can control that in there. And of course you can set the color of that LED on the pump. Right now it's set to blue, okay? So if you inside of your case is red or another color, you can change that, right? So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Definitely uh, a nice little uh, closed loop uh, cooling system from Antec. Definitely recommend this if uh, you're looking for it. Nice and quiet. And uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. And again, I'd like to thank Antec for providing it. And thank you for watching.